Ah, perfect weather. Nice place, good mood. Why not make something delicious to beat McDonald's? These are my best friends, always in a good mood. It's a team where everybody has his number and a proper place. I love them. They like hay, which I have plenty of. Why not share some? Right now, it's time for breakfast. Yummy. Mmm, they really enjoy this. So, now it's milking time. I do it now with a special machine, not like it was a million years before when I did it with bare hands. Thanks to my livestock, I've got enough milk to feed a small town. This progress gives me an opportunity to milk dozens of sheep at a time and the milk flows like a white river to special metal cans. It's definitely better than Coke, or Pepsi, as you wish. It's delicious and healthy. For today, three cans will do, so my large five-litre Mustang, or maybe not, is delivering the rest of the stock to where it's needed. Ah, is my little friend already waiting for me? Or maybe it's the milk. To start with, we have to filter the milk to make sure that there's nothing flying that's jumped in there or, or something else that shouldn't be in there. Um, also, nice wooden plates will help serve as protection. I combine the filtering process with a slow heating. You know, milk needs um, a certain temperature uh, in order to make sure it's been pasteurized correctly and is ready for processing. Now, if a sheep doesn't behave uh, properly, I don't use it for milking, I just use it for making storage, a water skin, or a milk skin in my case. Life is hard. It's better that you perform or you'll be in a bad situation. Sorry, what do I have? I have a sheepskin with no sheep inside anymore. You can see the sheep if you want to in another reel of mine on YouTube where I cook some uh, sheep meat. Now it's already dried and partially cleaned, but now I have to make a proper reservoir to keep my cheese. I have to put it into water to soften it as it's already been hardened by the sun. It's really good. I'm living amidst the forests. I can always choose the wood I need, and I need a lot of wood. Now I'll do some wooden instruments to have my milk skin ready till the moment the cheese is ready. I've got everything I need, so the job goes pretty fast. The first thing I'll do will be to create a gag for a vessel, and a kind of awl to sew the skin. Ah, Kitty wants to see what's happening. She's curious, just like any other kitten. While I'm doing my job, she's playing around like any other kitten in the world. trying not to irritate my dog. So now milk is heated over a fire. 
It's hot, but we don't boil it. I want to prevent it from overheating. I don't need it to be boiled, so I can put another vessel to cool it down a little bit. These are my other friends, birds. Nice looking and excellent for cooking. Okay, so now I'm checking the milk. It should cool to 40 degrees. Then I move to check out the skin, take it from the water and dry it again. <laughs> the kitten is still looking for prey, uh, but this is just too big for him. Okay, the skin is ready for the next step to be turned inside out and the wall to be removed or shaved. Now, for this, I have to use a barrel and scissors. I have to work in a way not to spoil the skin. Um, having natural holes is enough. Uh, then I take my scissors again and remove all the excess parts. I have to do it very carefully. And then next, I use an awl to close the open parts and fix them with the ropes. Uh, quite a bit of effort is to be applied. Now, I take away the part of the stick I don't need anymore and then insert a wooden pipe um, from bamboo. To fill the skin with air, to be sure it's whole and solid and airtight, I don't need any holes. It looks okay, so I do the rest of cutting the wool and put something in it to keep the form. Ah, the ducks decide to get away from danger. Ah, 40 degrees. That's the temperature we need. And I put rennet in the milk and then stir it to start fermentation. Now I can rest for a little while till the next morning. The process will just continue on its own. Morning. Blossoms are everywhere. <laughs> Kitty was guarding the skin the whole night. So I can start tasting it to be sure there's no leakage and to wash it to eliminate the dirt and smell.
cheese has fermented and it's time to get rid of the whey. Whey or serum can be used later to feed the calves and the chicken. I take a special scoop and deliver cheese in a vessel to get rid of the, of the whey or the serum. This type of cheese is a daily food in Azerbaijan and all over uh, Caucasus. It's so easy to make, certainly easy to digest, and, and you can store it for a long time. It's actually quite salty, and you can add it to food instead of using salt. You'll find this product on every table. Like pita bread, it's an absolute must. It goes down really fast. I try to make an even layer of cheese using my hands. Then I put a specially made wooden plate as a press on the top and then a big heavy stone to eliminate the rest of the liquid. In fact, till tomorrow morning. Oh look, Kitty's trying to sharpen her claws to get something to eat. The stone is heavy, but the cheese is flat. I carefully put it between two wooden plates, take away the filter material, and start to cut the cheese in pieces. My knife is great. It's really a pleasure to use it. Oh yeah, rain starts. It's going to be a fast mountain rain. I don't really need to pay it much attention. I then put a good thick layer of salt in the container The cheese then goes on top, chopped in pieces. Layer another good layer of salt and then carry on and repeat the process. In fact, it looks like a snowfall. Now, I go to the fire, um, to the furnace, and it's time to start the fire. I said before, there's plenty of wood around, and I always have coals constantly burning, uh, so I don't need to look for matches or a lighter every time I need a fire. Coals give a hell of a lot of heat. And wood starts to burn immediately. The wind is strong too, and the stove draft is excellent. Loaf time is now coming. I need lukewarm water, sugar and yeast. And then I stir. wheat flour, corn oil, and finally the loaf is ready. The stove is ready and waiting. Now I'm doing the next step. I'm grinding some meat and tomatoes from my personal garden and I chop them nicely.
Um, also onions I chop into small pieces. Bell pepper with no seeds, I removed them before. And then the next step is spices, ground black pepper, paprika, ground red pepper, and I mix it all thoroughly to get a, a really solid mass. Okay, time for a tea break, a zeri tea. Hot, with some lumps of sugar, a slice of lemon. Strong and really refreshing. Do you know a better drink? I certainly don't. Actually, sitting by the fire is very relaxing as well. Ah, Kitty has got her part of a meal. Meat. Just meat. Just how she likes it. Okay, tea time is over. So, I take a grater and start to make a cheesy mass. And when I've finished, I then take a loaf and separate it into pieces to make some smaller loaves, which I then roll down to a kind of a flat cake. Now on top goes some cheese. In fact, not some cheese, a lot of cheese. Uh, next I roll it and I use the flour not to uh, stick with my hands to a dough shaker and bread. Then this loaf goes into another mixture. And the meat mix goes first, and then on top I put more cheese. When the loaves are ready and are similar to small boats with filling fixed by the sides, I use some egg yolk to brush over it because this type of trick will make the bread look really tasty and brownish and also it makes it nice and crispy. And then some sesame seeds go on top and it's really good to have it just like that. Okay, so the oven is ready. The wood has burned down to coals and they're ready in the furnace or the oven is now really well heated. <laughs> Not only is the stove ready, Looks like the dog is as well. He was well behaved and calm, so now he gets his piece of meat.
Okay, so I take the loaf from the stove and put some homemade butter on top of each to make it even more crispy and tasty. Ah, oh, the weather is fine. Not too hot, and it's nice to have a really refreshing nice breeze. It really feels good. Okay, so all the seven loaves are ready. Hot and smelling good and also looking good. Really appetizing. It's time for eating. It's hot and tasty. It's really good. Super. So who are we putting these slices of loaves on the plate for? Of course, for our beloved children. Mashallah, mashallah. Görsə də baba nə pişiribdi. Mashallah. Enjoy your meal. I guess they really like it. Leftovers we put in our newly made sack to give a good cheese for a new dish. day.